LSU looking to sweep a midweek series in game two against Mississippi Valley State. Demons up two with two on in the second. Caleb Ricca line drive into left. That clears the bases. NSU with a 4 nothing lead. Same score in the fifth. Hilton Brown with a fly ball into right. It gets down. That'll play two demons. The lead is now at six. Very next batter, Peyton Davis going down the left field line. It will just get over the wall. A two-run bomb for the former airline Viking. Demons in full control up eight to nothing. They'd add on one more and shut out Mississippi Valley again. Nine nothing the final. NBC6's Brad Cisak was at this game and he's got more. Brad? Yeah, Jory, it was another great outing at the plate for the NSU Demons, putting up nine runs today. That gives them 20 total in the two games against Mississippi Valley State. But what we didn't see in those highlights was the stellar performance on the mound. The Demons allowing only two hits in today's shutout win. That group is led by Jerry Maddox with eight strikeouts over five innings of work. Sure does make getting wins a lot easier when you're mowing down the opposition. It's good for me, but it's better for the team. You know, I mean, when you go out there as a pitcher and your hitters get behind you and they put up runs like that, it gives me a lot of confidence and it gives the team a lot of confidence and it gives us a good chance going forward. It was good. I mean, I think every pitcher on the roster that was available, except one probably, um, hit the mound over the last two days. And, and it's hard for those guys that they don't get to pitch a whole lot to stay in it and keep working hard. And, and when they do get the opportunity, not press. You know, I think that happens a lot in baseball. So it's good to see them out there competing in the strike zone, which is what we preach all the time. So the Demons back in action this weekend for a three-game homestand against Nichols. Game one set for Friday evening. First pitch is at 6.30 right here at Brown Stroud Field. For now, reporting in Natchitoches, I'm Brad Cisak.